Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm actually going to be testing out the new Mini So foundation and concealer. So the foundation is the Perfect Drop Blurring Foundation as well as the Duo Tone Concealer and it is their Perfectly Defined Concealer. So I went into Mini So and I saw that they were advertising their new kind of makeup line. It's a Japanese dollar store for those who don't know what Mini So is. I picked it up and I decided to give it a test to see if you guys would like to hear feedback. I noticed that there's not a lot of videos online or there's not a lot of videos that are in English for uh, the reviews on like the makeup and everything. So I decided to do one of my own just in case there's other people like me that want to know if the foundation's good or the products are good for the price and how it turns out. Before we continue the video though, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I do post. But yeah, so if you'd like to see how the foundation and the concealer work out, just keep on watching the video. Okay, so I have my headband on and you know what time it is when I got my headband on. We get ready. So right now all I have is a moisturizer on and some SPF. Again, I don't have a primer, I just wanna see how this foundation is going to work. So the foundation we're gonna be testing is the Mini So Mini Pony Perfecting Drop Blurring Foundation. I haven't seen many videos on this foundation, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna test this out because Mini So is pretty much everywhere now. Um, and it's just like a Japanese dollar store. It's very, very cheap, uh, but this is kind of like their new stuff. And when I saw blurring foundation, I was like, girl, I need to try that. I picked up both one and two. So one is ivory, two is nude. So before we start trying to match my shade, we're gonna look at the claims on the Mini So website. Uh, it's to revitalize skin with one droplet, silky smooth liquid formula, delivers a better and natural coverage, conceal imperfections on skin, gives you a flawless, glossy skin. Okay. So those are the claims, so it's just going to blur and make you look natural, healthy, like glowy. But I noticed in the ingredients that the second ingredient is alcohol. So I'm assuming since alcohol is obviously not that good for your skin, it's going to dry your skin out. I don't know, but that's why we're testing it. So the bottle is really nice. It's a frosted glass bottle with a dropper, obviously. That's great. That's just, I don't know why I like this tissue paper on the inside. <laughs> so for the video, we're just going to be doing number two, nude. I'm going to be using my handy dandy booty blender. We're going to start on the forehead. Kind of looks good. If this turns out good, I hope it doesn't break me out. So obviously right off the bat you can see a little bit of like the redness and pigmentation peeking through a little bit. Definitely evened it out. So this is the half of my face that doesn't have it. This is what does, just a light layer. Obviously we're gonna have to see if we can build that up. If not, with a spot conceal. Mm -hmm. This is just a light layer on my face. So again, you can still see a little bit of pigmentation, but overall it's not that bad. So that's just what it looks like once I've layered it a little bit more. So you can definitely build the foundation, which is good. Also be testing the Mini So Concealer. This is the perfectly defined concealer. So it's a duo concealer. We just got it in shade number one. So one is light and the other side is natural. So obviously if you get darker, or if you get more pale, you have the option, which is really nice. We're gonna be using the light side. Why you gotta start cutting stuff outside? Come on, can't you can't you see I'm doing a video? I'm gonna do a swatch of the two concealers just so you can see side by side. So obviously the darker one is the natural shade and then the other one is obviously light. I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. I'm not mad at it. You know what? Not bad. Okay so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back so you can see what it looks like and how it's set. Okay so this is the end result of my makeup. Honestly this foundation looks really really good. It did not oxidize. I actually have massive pores that's why I have to use um primer usually around here. We did some blurring effect right here and they don't look as huge. Again, the real test will be for my wear test when I come home from work. I usually don't touch up my makeup unless uh, it's absolute disaster. Either way, I'll let you know in the video when I do a follow-up at the end when I come home. Um, but yeah, so just stay tuned and you will see the result if it worked out. I am back home from work. 
I am totally exhausted. The lighting's really bad because it's nighttime. But you can definitely see I'm very oily. So, here's the thing. I really like this foundation because it actually does blur my pores because I have very big pores. Again, I didn't use a primer. I did not use any powder whatsoever on my face. I didn't even use a setting spray. I just put it on and let, like, I let it be. So obviously, with that, and also it's very hot out. Uh, it was super hot at work. I have this cardigan on. Not a good mix. I was very, I was boiling pretty much. Um, again, I feel like if I were to properly set it, it would have been a little better if I used my primer. You know, it would have definitely lasted longer. On its own, minus the fact that I was like boiling in my cardigan and like under hot lights all day and like the hot, like the heat coming in from, in, from outside, the foundation is good. Same thing with the concealer. Um, it rubbed off a little bit because I had to keep touching up and same thing, I was so hot and getting so oily because of the conditions that I kind of felt like I didn't give the foundation a fair shot. I'm going to wear this again tomorrow. I'm gonna go to work again tomorrow. I'm gonna wear it. A second day check-in because I also want to see if it reacts to my skin. You can't see the time, but it's because of the background I have. But it is 10.43 at night. If the second day check-in, it turns out the exact same way, then mm -mm, there's no way. Good night. I'm going to bed. I'm tired, very, very tired. Hey guys, so this is the second day of the check-in. So this is what my makeup looks like. Oh my God. Everything except for put on my lips for the day. Um, pretty much I just put a primer down, which was the Lee Swati one. It's the white one, it's a pore minimizing one. As well as I baked under my eyes and I used the setting spray so that this foundation actually has a chance now. I did like my full um, regular makeup routine. So again, I will be checking in after work. Same amount of time, same place, same everything. Uh, I will see you in a few seconds for the next check-in. Hey guys, so I'm back home from work on the second day of check-in. Um, I also forgot to mention before, I think I forgot to mention, that I didn't get any reaction yet on my skin. And usually after one day of wearing like something, I usually do get a reaction. I haven't gotten a reaction from what I've noticed. Um, again, I'll add like an update mini video if I have to, if I do get a reaction, but as of right now, I haven't. So now that I actually use, you know, the right way, I set it and everything, it was fun. So I actually really, really do like this foundation. So I think that if you're gonna wear it alone, if you have oily skin or if it's really hot out, I don't know if it's gonna last too long. If you have dry skin, this might be a little bit better for you. Um, if you just wanna wear it alone, like without a primer or anything. Um, but for as for everybody else, I definitely recommend like have like a setting powder or like a spray. That's definitely gonna help with the longevity, just like most foundations, you know? But yeah, I'm actually really, really impressed. I actually really do like this foundation. The color matches, it didn't oxidize. Whole day, I didn't have to blot, I didn't have to do nothing, no touch-ups, nothing. I just left the house like this. That's it. But yeah, so that is my final check-in. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the foundation. If you have any requests, feel free to let me know down below or in any of my social media. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!